This is V Trades, and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Airbnb. This will be an update video for my previous analysis on July 12th. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. Also, thank you to those who already subscribed and like my videos. It means a lot. Just a reminder that I have no positions in this company, so I'll give an unbiased viewpoint. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see in the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we will wrap it up by looking over the long term pattern on the weekly chart. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pour, put a vertical line on the July 12th analysis I did and everything after that is new price action which I will go over soon. So in the previous technical analysis video um, I said that Airbnb will continue lower and potentially even reach this 120 level or even break it. Um, I don't think anything has changed so far. I still believe we're in a downtrend and we'll continue to see lower lows. As you can see here, this is the channel that I have in play for Airbnb. That's why we got this bounce right there. And then if I drag it to the lows, this fits pretty nicely. I can adjust it just a little bit to get the most touches. It's probably a little flatter about right there. If I move this a little bit. So that's the channel I see Airbnb is still respecting. I'm going to go ahead and draw this counter trend channel that I did in the first video also. And this one's kind of already played out since we already had um, a break outside and a move to a new high. And then we reverse down to continue with the uh, downtrend. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. Let's make it yellow. And then we're still in another little smaller downtrend right here. That still needs to play out and potentially touch, uh, retest the lows or even make a new low. Usually, if we have a channel, we're going to get uh, a break outside and a move to a new high. And that also means the same thing for downtrend. So we had a break outside right here and we could potentially make a new low. So we just had a temporary bounce at this 131 level because that's where the previous price action bounced. So this uptrend uh, correction, I think it's played out because if I take a trend line and I show you guys that. So it looks like we had four bars up. We had a close outside this red bar and then a move to new high. So we could potentially see another red bar coming in the next few days uh, after we get it uh, a rejection from this uh, channel line and EMA together. And then with that rejection, we, uh, price will continue lower to retest its lows, most likely. Uh, if I were to do a target uh, that price could potentially reach, it would probably be off of this first leg right here. So this is the first leg I see. Um, that uh, is the breakout so if we have another leg at the same distance it goes right to the lower side of the channel which looks about right and that's the 103 level i'm going to put a horizontal line there as you can see it's the 103 dollar level and if we do a percentage drop from now on that would be about a 27 percent drop so on the daily chart uh, still shows the downtrend nothing has really changed However, since we didn't come to the lower side of the channel, um, this downtrend is kind of weak and it could be played out also. So we could potentially see a break of this um, channel uh, up to about the 156 level, 160 level before continuing lower. So that pretty much wraps up my analysis on the daily chart. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the weekly chart right now. So here we have the weekly chart and the first thing that I noticed is that there was this downtrend in play right here and then we had a close outside and then we try to make a new low however we failed um, because this support line is very strong around the 134 level so this is a double test of that level we came here once it came here twice so that could be a potential bottom for Airbnb. So we just have to wait and see. So on the weekly chart, we look slightly bullish. Um, if we were to take a long right now, uh, if, if I was trading, I would probably get out uh, before the EMA because the EMA could reject prices back down low. However, this could be a potential bottom. So we just have to wait and see. Uh, however, on the daily chart, uh, it looks like we're still in the downtrend. So we have to let that play out. But on the weekly chart, we do look bullish. So what could potentially happen from uh, receiving this bounce right here 
is that we can go all the way up to the EMA and possibly even even the breakout area around 175. Do I think I can get that high? Uh, probably not just because the bias is still down. So we have to uh, see like a good reversal pattern before um, expecting prices to continue higher. But at the very least, I still see prices coming back to uh, the 150 level before continuing lower. And we'll go from there. Probably give you guys an update in maybe the next couple weeks. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you could learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time. Bye.